on an average size tree with a half inch of accretion, guys, about four to six thousand pounds mm. on the tree alone. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how recover That's after incredible. kind of bent over like that, you know? I but, suppose if it's yeah, they break, say don't shake it off. Just let let it melt yeah. on its own is the best yeah. way to do it. And it, at this point now, while there's the melting has happened, now it's like okay, well, what about the health of the trees? Because what about as we get into storm season, yeah. oh, we yeah. start to bring in strong winds and that kind of thing. Yeah, just yeah. a mess. I mean, actually, we always say it. Ice is just the worst. No, the worst. The worst. It is. Mm -hmm. And it now is. people are throwing the food out, you know, from their fridge because they're without power for yeah. like oh, almost yeah. a week now at this point. Yeah. It really is a mess of power situation there in Austin. Mm -hmm. It may bad. be another week. Oh my yeah, I've, I've read that there's there's a lot of challenges. I mean, there's that many lines and wires and poles down and everything and like trees that. Trees and everything wow. else. Mm -hmm. Plus, Jim, as you know, it's wow. hard to give up a tree that you've had, you know, in your yard your whole life. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, connection. Absolutely. All right. Well, you guys keep it going. Uh, you have a good day. We'll keep it going right here on America's Morning Headquarters. Have a good one, guys. Yes, you guys, too. We are here to take it over here and walk you through it. Of course, we're going to help you plan out for the big events ahead for this week. And uh, we got a lot ongoing here for us. How about the big changes that some of us are experiencing? <laughs> I mean, that, that's an understatement. Um, a friend on Instagram put his, his son was, like, bundled up, you know, as could be on Saturday to experience the Arctic cold yeah. in Boston. And then on Sunday, not even shoes. Yeah. <laughs> it was that quick. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, Mother Nature has definitely got a big that show. It's amazing, great. and I love those kids' reaction. Now, you need the cold weather for that. Let's talk about when we do get some of the colder air in place here to the Midwest. We're going to Indianapolis. I'm standing here in Monument Circle. We're going to have a dry day for you today. Tomorrow, the rain starts to come back by Wednesday, and the rain can be heavy at times. And the question is, do we get into any wintry precip in Indianapolis? So... Let's let's get through it. It's it's more of a rain thing, so we'll stop right here when it comes to what kind of uh, precip is falling from the sky. You look at the forecast. Here comes your rain on Wednesday. Temps are in the 40s. Here comes Thursday. It's still pretty windy. Rain heavy at times, 50s. Now we get that chance of mixing in some snow showers, but our temperature is still 41 degrees. So this doesn't look like a big snow event for us here in Indianapolis. If it snows heavy enough, sometimes you can get some slushy accumulation, um, even with that temp starting at 41. But we will see. I mean, it depends on the track of the low. As always, we watch that track up here right through the Midwest. Here comes the colder air getting pulled in southward. But unless you're in Wisconsin or maybe northern Iowa, northern Beautiful Illinois, in terms that. of the colors like you saw right there, there you, you might go. not expect it unless you've been there. See? So, again, a slept-on area for yeah. the beaches. Yeah. All right. Looking good. I'm even on Friday with the, with the snow coming. Yeah, you don't want that. Snow on the beach. Well, an iconic view from I-65. Check out the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. That's a sad one. You know, there's all these GoFundMe that, uh, campaigns that go around. Maybe we should start one to, to maybe try to fix that up. <laughs> so I think the number would be around $7 million. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I think we could use that money for uh, for, for some uh, other things. <laughs> I think so, too. Um, but anyway, it is a good week for a drive. Great driving weather. You know, a few clouds are good for driving, actually. You know, not too sunny, yeah. not yeah, too Yeah, the glare of the sun. Yeah, I like that. Good there stuff. You go. We'll find your city. <laughs> well, we're not making up the weather. Um, and it's, it has been a mild winter for many. That I mean, honestly, overall, when you look at the, the country as a whole, Mild really has been the, the, the way to really yeah. describe it. Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Massachusetts, I mean, New Jersey, yeah, Maryland. Keep going. You can keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go on a date? Valentine's is coming. <laughs> it is. Uh, what, it's like a week or so away, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool. Uh, I love when you see those birds just in groups like that, and they yeah. kind of just all are in sync. It's like synchronized swimming. It's really amazing. It really, really is. Mm -hmm. It's quite the sight. Uh, well, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for choosing America's Morning Headquarters. We will get you through the mid-morning hours. That's right. Helping you plan for the, the big events ahead. Of course, we got the big game on Sunday, and... Uh, uh, looking forward to that. I know our, uh, our producer is. He's a big Eagles fan. <laughs> uh, so that should be a fun one. And, of course, we've yeah. got a lot of changing weather. And we certainly saw that over the weekend. Yeah. The 24